hey everybody welcome to cut transform glue and in this week's video i'm going to continue the build of the sniper spaceship out of camera i did this arm thing that will connect the sniper to the spaceship and this arm kind of moves and angles to kind of help the, the sniper to acquire its targets here on earth and right now I'm moving on to the body of the spaceship as I said in the first video I kind of did this project backwards I started the spaceship by making its weapon first and once I did that I came up with this drawing right here which is the concept art of the spaceship and right now I want to build the frame that would connect the, the rail that holds the sniper to the body of the spaceship I know this may sound confusing right now, but I promise you guys it will make sense by the end of this video. So I'll begin by making the, the frame that would connect the sniper to the body of the spaceship with some laser cut MGF. And this time I did things differently, I'm following my own sketch on the process of creation so this is different for me. But yeah, let's see where this goes. So, as always, I reached in my collection of laser cut pieces, I've had these triangles for a long time and I have never found a use for them, but right now I think it's the right time to do it. So I grabbed it and I'm trying to combine some other laser cut pieces to create the shape that I draw. To keep these pieces together, I'm using some CA glue and some baking soda. And also, I'm using my mini disc sander to kind of give those pieces the angles that they need. I've made this mini disc sander myself, and if you want to know how I did this, there's a video here in the channel. So this right here is the first side of the frame and to be honest I feel like this is kind of too flat and too flimsy so in the next step I'm going to add more laser cut pieces on the top of it to kind of make it more sturdy and also make it look cooler. And this is the end result, as you can see, it is thicker and it looks kinda, kinda nice and stronger. Also, by adding some laser cut pieces that are thinner than the ones at the bottom, they, they kinda made it look more interesting and added detail to the piece. So then I just had to make the second one on the other side and as this piece is not symmetrical I couldn't make a mold and cast it so I had to make the second one by hand all over again and this took a lot of time so I did that out of camera. Now in the middle of this frame there will be a rail and in this rail the sniper would rock back and forth with each shot. So this is the structure that I'm creating right now and for that structure I'm using a controller, a remote controller from a node VCR. I feel like this, this remote control as it is, is not interesting, the shape is kind of flat and without too many details. So right now I'm cutting a, a slot in the middle of it to kind of add some air vents and make this rail thing more interesting. And I know some of you might be wondering, but this air vent, it came from a dead laptop.
to glue those pieces together I'm kind of using this type of glue right here that is a type of weld bond glue and it kind of fuses the plastic together so it is really nice for that type of, of work and also some quick car body filler was used to kind of fill the gaps and in the bottom of the air vents I glued the the metal mesh to kind of give it more more a uh, more realistic look a piece of siren was glued to the bottom of it to kind of give it more structure so now that I have the plastic rail thing and I have its measurements I can glue both sides of the the frame of the, the spaceship together and for that again I'm using some laser cut MGF pieces So this is the end result, this is the full frame of the spaceship and from here I'm going to hang the, the sniper and also the parts of the body of the spaceship as you can see on this shot. I can end by using the fake Lego as I did in the first video of this build I'm going to create a, a joint for the rail and for the sniper to the, the frame of the spaceship so I'll begin by gluing some pieces of this fake Lego on the, the middle of the frame and then I'm going to do the same things to the, to the other pieces, to the rail where the, the sniper would be hanging out of These Lego pieces may look too tiny, but the, the hole that they provide together is quite positive, so I'm pretty happy about it. Now, I know that I've been calling this black piece right here as the rail of the sniper, but it is not the case, it is the structure that will hold the rail, and I'm going to create the rail right now. So I've had these laser cut pieces right here for quite some time in my collection of pieces and they look nice for a spaceship so I'm using it to create the rails for the, the snipe, for the arm of the snipe. Just as a friendly reminder right here, I've started a Patreon campaign for this channel and if you want to support me, there are three tiers right there and each of these tiers has some nice benefits for you guys, so if you can support me, go there, but if you can't, no big deal, let's keep hanging out here on YouTube, now back to the video. So as you can see, I've created a box where the, the arm of the sniper slides inside. This is the actual rail of the sniper and that would be connected to the, the black piece right here that sits on the top of the frame. 
now this sniper is kind of heavy so I'm thinking about using some bolts to secure this in place I'm not going to glue the frame to the rail because that would make a mess when, when it comes to, to painting it so I'm using bolts to make it secure Okay, so now I have three points of attachment of the rail to the frame of the spaceship, all of them using bolts, and this provides me a nice and sturdy fix. As I was limited by the space of the, the Lego pieces, I had to put two bolts from the top and one from the bottom. And on the top of that structure, hiding the three bolts, comes the, the remote control, the middle piece of the spaceship, closing it up. I felt that the top of this middle piece was too empty and I kind of wanted to create kind of a CPU because this, this spaceship is non-tripulated, so I created this shape right here. This is kind of the brain of the spaceship and it will be connected to the middle piece with some Lego pieces as well and as you can see in this shot right here it sits right at the top of the middle piece right here nice and sturdy and this is the end of this video and I know that I promised you guys to kind of help you guys understand this project I know this is kind of confusing so so far I've got the sniper, the rail where it sits, the middle piece and the frame and on the next video I'm going to work on the sides of the spaceship that would be connected to the frame and I did this drawing right here to kind of help you guys understand where I'm trying to get this is the first time that I'm trying to build a spaceship and I gotta tell you guys this is kinda hard but I like the challenge I've had some trouble in the beginning of this project to kind of figure out the shape of the spaceship. I didn't know what I wanted to do and I kind of did it backwards. I started the spaceship by making its weapon first, but I really feel that right now I'm in the right direction. So tell me what you guys think on the comment section below. But this is it for now, don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video with your friends and as always, thanks for watching.